Conservation tillage is perhaps the most effective practice available to farmers to reduce wind and water erosion and to improve soil quality on cropland. Not only is conservation tillage beneficial to the environment, it makes economic sense through savings in fuel, chemicals, and time. Any tillage system that leaves more than 30% of the soil surface covered with crop residue is considered conservation tillage. The amount of residue is measured after the field is planted. By increasing the amount of residue on the surface, conservation tillage reduces erosion and runoff. Soil moisture is conserved for crop use and increased yield. Also, the amount of soil particles emitted into the air is reduced. Crop residue controls all types of water erosion by reducing the effects of raindrop splash and water runoff. By limiting the amount of tillage and building up organic matter in the soil, water and nutrient infiltration will improve over time. Maintaining crop residue also helps to control wind erosion. As wind speed increases, the amount of soil picked up on a bare field may double or even triple. For instance, if a 20 mile per hour wind increases to 30 miles per hour, the rate of erosion will triple. The major conservation tillage systems are no-till and mulch till. The effectiveness of these different tillage systems in controlling wind and water erosion depends on how much the soil is disturbed and the amount of residue that is buried versus the amount that is left near the surface of the field. The Cadillac of conservation tillage systems is no-till. No-till can reduce erosion by up to 90% compared to conventional tillage methods. In no-till, the soil is left undisturbed after harvest and through planting. Planting or drilling the seed disturbs only a narrow portion of the row width. Disc openers, coulters, or row cleaners are used at planting time to cut and clear a narrow band of last year's residue. Mulch till disturbs the residue on the entire field prior to or during planting, but still leaves at least 30% of the soil surface covered in residue. Tillage equipment is used to work the soil and bury some of the residue. Tillage tools may include chisels, discs, or field cultivators. Some changes in equipment are required when switching to less tillage. However, the initial cost of changing tillage systems will be offset by eventual savings in time, fuel, and equipment depreciation. Conservation tillage methods provide both economic and environmental benefits over time. Economic benefits include savings in time, fuel, and machinery, as well as wear and tear on equipment. Profitability can increase with conservation tillage because of lower input costs. Producers must weigh the pros and cons of conservation tillage as it relates to their own unique operation.